Hey, yo, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I've been asking myself all season. Man, where the hell is slick bag hair guy? All right, Splat Pack Sports, welcome back. Today we want to talk about one of the people who have gone missing. He's been MIA. I've checked the local newspapers and milk cartons and haven't been able to find neither hide nor hair of this man. And who we're talking about is uh, Ken Maurer. Now, for those of you who may have been hiding under a rock for the last damn near 40 years, he's one of the most prominent NBA referees uh, in the history of the game, number one, but at the very least in every one of any of you's lives who have watched the NBA for anything longer than two seasons. The man is just a staple. He, his, his face, his visage, his uh, aesthetic is, you know, he got the slick back Pat Riley joint going, which is he, he has rocked since uh, the beginning of time as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, that's his brand. That's what he does. That's what's in his heart. <laughs> That's the way he represents himself. He's always been slick back hair guy to me. The gentleman, Ken Maurer, as you see, happens to be from the same hometown as me, St. Paul, Minnesota. Now, if you're from St. Paul, there are, you know, it's, it's a small city. It is the twin city to Minneapolis, which is the big sister of, of the two cities. But when it comes to St. Paul, Minnesota and athletics, there are generally two names you think of when it comes to royalty as far as family names with regards to athletics in Minnesota. Number one, especially if you are black living in Minnesota, you know the Winfields. Dave Winfield and his brother were just uh, just some monsters. My father, who actually uh, starred as the point guard on the Saint, or uh, actually the Minneapolis Central uh, basketball teams when he was coming up, but grew up uh, going to Jimmy Lee the Rec Center, which was in the neighborhood uh, before we were referring to neighborhoods as the hood. But for all intents and purposes, it was the Rondo area and the hood just wasn't referred to back in those days so my father played with those Winfields and you know sometimes gave it to us sometimes got his ass whooped the whole thing so obviously we know the Winfields most of you know the Winfields but in St. Paul Minnesota there is no name bigger than the Maurer family if you are 40 or younger, I'm sure you know Joe Maurer, who was the great Minnesota twin. But if you don't know anything about it, he was a monster in several sports back in high school at Creighton Durham Hall. And this guy broke all of Chris Winkie's uh, quarterback records, and he didn't even go go to uh, he didn't even go to college to play football. That's how nice this cat was. He was a ridiculous. Uh, quarterback but said nah F it it's, it's more money in the, in uh, Major League Baseball and he was right but this guy right here Ken Maurer comes from royalty when it comes to athletics in St. Paul and Minnesota in general but if you're like me you've been wondering where the hell is Waldo where in the world is Carmen San Diego ain't seen bruh in a minute but if you are a viewer of Jason Whitlock and his fearless show, then you uh, missed out if you didn't get a chance to check out yesterday's show of Fearless, where he had Ken Maurer on to discuss his uh, peculiar absence from the NBA after, you know, uh, over 36 years of refing uh, in the NBA proper, but also... Prior to that, working in the minor leagues, the CBA before it became the D League and whatnot, and now the G League. So this guy has been unceremoniously 
essentially booted from the NBA because he didn't want to take the jazz. He didn't want to uh, take their forced medication in order to inoculate himself from the beer bug. And because of which, they basically gave the referees an ultimatum. They told them it doesn't matter that we are not mandating the players to be vaccinated. You must be vaccinated. You must get on your knees and obey the edict that has been sent down from on high. It doesn't matter how long the service that you have put into the NBA is. It doesn't matter that if in any city you go to, you see this man, you can see this man down at the damn corner mark and you'd be like, hey, yo, Blee, uh, I might not know your name, but I know slick back hair guy when I see him. And if you if you can distinguish, I know they say a lot of Asian people look alike and they say a lot of black people look alike. But it, I don't know. Him and Pat Riley look kind of alike. And I, and I ain't trying to say white folks all look alike, but them two motherfuckers actually really do look uh, very, very similar. But you know you've seen Pat Riley, but you haven't seen my man Ken. And it's like, Ken. What gives Ken Pasta? <sighs> they put the screws to him, they put the boots to him. The authoritarianism that rained down on them guys uh, was too much for many of them to bear. And so, because they have families to feed they're just now getting into the profession lucky enough to be chosen as one of the uh, fortunate few they went ahead and bent the knee and took the took the uh the inoculation if you will this guy right here was like you know look f it it goes against my uh personal beliefs but more importantly my religious beliefs as a practicing catholic and a firm believer in jesus christ as his lord and savior he just felt that the technology in the 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 uh, inoculant <laughs> uh just contained some materials that went against his uh, belief system and if you don't know what I'm referring to I'll go ahead and link the dis uh, uh, put a link in the description box to the video from Jason Whitlock's channel and let him explain it to you uh, specifically because YouTube likes likes to be uh, censorious and pull the plug on what you're doing uh, if, you, if you mention anything that might be medically related, especially with regards to the beer bug. So we're going to let that let that slide. But in his mind, he's like, look, I'm in great shape. I eat healthy. I'm not afraid of the <laughs> like my <laughs> like my man Jericho Green <laughs> would say. <laughs> I'm going to let him say it because I can't say it better than him. The sweet and sour sniffle. Oh God, man! If y'all ain't watching Jericho Green, I mean, listen. Me and my people, we do, we do, we have another show. We have another channel uh, called Black Pack Podcast, where we talk culture, we talk politics. But if you want to hear entertainment while getting the news and uh, someone shooting straight with you, when it comes to YouTube, in my estimation, there is no one who gives it to you at a higher echelon than Jericho Green. You know, so this guy coined that term, and it's been having me dying ever since. But I digress. This guy wasn't afraid of the sweet and sour sniffle and decided that, look, it is my body, my choice. I don't feel for my family's sake, for my wife and I's sake, that this makes any sense for us to do, especially when it goes against my religious convictions and is not going to allow the sweet and sour sniffle to take him away from his higher calling, his vision, and his sovereignty of his body. Who knows, the man may never play or may never ref another game in the NBA, but especially in times like this, we need more men like Kim Maurer from the crib, St. Paul, Minnesota, love to see it, 
we're going to end it there on that note. And I just want to give out my uh, respect, my blessings, and my... Uh, uh, my hopes that this thing can be put behind him uh, after he goes forth with his appeal to the EOC and make sure that he can get back into the game because uh, when the Grecian formula run dry, bruh, who you gonna call?